Hello there and welcome to the channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about the DJI Crystal Sky as well as the new video DJI have put out showing you their automated production line for the Mavic 2 Pro. Now I've released quite a few videos on my channel about the Crystal Sky over the years and I get a lot of questions about this device. Specifically I get a lot asking me A. What is the current situation with it? B. Is it still relevant today and should they buy it? And C where the future lies for Crystal Sky and do I think there will be any more updates or even a new one. Now as I've said I released quite a lot of videos on the Crystal Sky and actually I had these two before the public release. I have both the 5.5 inch and 7.85 inch 1000 nits models. There was a third 2000 nits model that I never actually had and whilst these two have been very reliable the 2000 nits did actually have a number of issues with the screen and it disappeared a lot earlier than the 5.5 and 7.85. As for the situation with apps on the Crystal Sky, well that's a little bit complicated. Originally when it was released it had both the Pilot app and the Go 4 app installed and it also had the original Go app hidden in the background. When that firmware originally came out to be able to update the app you had to actually update all of the firmware on the device so rather than actually updating the app you had to do the whole system image. That meant DJI wasn't really releasing updates as regularly as they could have been. After a period of time they released the later firmware that now allows you to update the app independently of the system image and whilst that allowed you to have the ability to the downside is DJI haven't actually been pushing apps to the Crystal Sky to bring it up to date. For instance today the the Go 4 app on the Crystal Sky is running quite a few versions behind. The public Android version is currently 4.3.36, whereas the Crystal Sky version is currently 4.3.16. Now what that means is you're not going to get all of the compatibility with some of the later models of DJI drones. For instance, on the Mavic 2 Pro series, you may have some issues because DJI have been tweaking the firmware and the app for later features which won't work on the Crystal Sky. If you are a flyer of something like the DJI Inspire 2 though, the Crystal Sky will absolutely be fine. There's been no changes in the later apps that should have any effect on the Inspire 2 or the Phantom 4 Pro. It is only really the Mavic 2 Pro and the Mavic 2 Zoom that have continued to get updates that haven't been supported on the Crystal Sky. With regards to the Pilot app though, DJI I have been updating it and the current version on the Crystal Sky is version 1.8 and the current public version is 1.81 so it is basically fully up to date or just a 0.1 app step behind. Now as for what the future holds for Crystal Sky well no one really knows. DJI have not pushed an app update for it for quite some time. Now whether there will be another app update for Go 4 on the Crystal Sky no one really knows. Here and now we haven't had it and it's been quite some time since we've had the last one. Now I often get questions asking is the Crystal Sky compatible with things like the Mavic E2? The answer to that one is no and there is a couple of reasons why that's the case. First of all the Crystal Sky monitor is running the Android version 5 OS and secondly it is only a 32-bit device. The current version of the DJI Fly app for the Mavic Air 2 is only working on Android 7 or later and it needs to be a 64-bit operating system. Now there is though a little glimmer of hope and that is that DJI have said that they will bring the Fly app support to the DJI Smart Controller for the Mavic Air 2. The Smart Controller is running a newer version of the Android OS version 7 but it is still 32 bit and what this means is DJI either have to update the smart controller to 64 bit which we don't believe they can do or create a 32-bit version of the Fly app to be able to install on the smart controller. And if they do, that means there is the possibility it could be installed on Crystal Sky. Whether though DJI will actually do that or not, no one actually knows. As for the recommendation on the Crystal Sky, whether you should consider buying one of these today. Well, the answer to that is simple. If you are someone that flies an Inspire 2, it is absolutely worth considering. If you're someone that flies an M200 version 1, absolutely. If you are flying a Mavic Pro 2 though, or a Mavic 2 Pro I should say, 
I would hold off because whilst it is compatible, it is not fully compatible. It isn't compatible with any devices that are using the DJI Fly app either, which is the new Mavic Mini or the Mavic A2. So really it comes down to what aircraft. It really, if it's an Inspire 2 user, absolutely. If you're flying anything else, probably would not do it. If you're a Phantom 4 user, it should be supported as well. So really it's the Mavic, sorry, it's the Inspire 2 and the Phantom 4 Pro. Other than that, I wouldn't consider buying it. As for what the future holds, well, in my opinion, here and now, I think it's basically end of life. And whilst the device is still available to purchase, because there has been no updates, I think it's pretty much at the end of its life from a DJI point of view. Will there ever be a new version of the Crystal Sky? I think the answer to that is no. DJI have moved over to using the smart controller for their latest drones rather than actually a separate device and remote controller, as we've seen with the M300, as well as a couple of other models as well. So overall, I think the Crystal Sky has come towards the end of its life and whilst it is still an absolutely solid device to use with certain models it isn't one to consider if you're flying more some of the latest ones. Now I was actually flying both of these devices on the weekend and as I've said I was flying them with my Inspire 2 and they worked absolutely fine and in that use case scenario I think they are very worth considering and they do make life a lot easier considering you do have that removable battery and you have the ability to actually record on the SD cards and do screen shots very quickly and easily like that. As for recommending other devices, for me it is either the Crystal Sky or an iPhone and these are, they are the two devices that I am flying at the moment. I am not flying anything else. It's either that one or that one. Really that's about it on the Crystal Sky. Here and now there's no news on app updates. There is some possibilities of doing some things on the Crystal Sky unofficially but I have tried installing the latest Android version of the app on these and it still doesn't work properly unfortunately so there isn't something I'm going to go into depth because it just doesn't work. Now the last thing I just wanted to quickly mention was about the new video DJI support of release showing you their automated production line for some of their models. Now I heard about this quite a few years ago and how DJI had moved a lot of their production for certain models over to an automated line. It's highly impressive to see just how they are manufacturing their drones and how quickly they are able to assemble them and the way they actually automatically fly themselves around the factory, get tested and move down the production line. And whilst it isn't anything that's going to change people's opinion on about DJI drones. It's always cool to be able to see these things and just see how far along DJI have come. I will put a link to that video in the description of this video, but it is well worth a look and it just shows how big DJI have become now and how much technology they are using to make the technology that they are selling to us. And it really does put them in a different league to many of the other drone manufacturers out there, some of which who are struggling to even get small numbers out the door, whereas DJI are able to produce en masse in an automated way and produce a high quality product that comes to a user and just works because DOAs are fairly rare these days from DJI. Anyway, it was something I just wanted to mention. That is pretty much it for this video. I hope the update on the Crystal Sky has been helpful. If it is something you are interested in, there is a link to the Crystal Sky in the description of this video. It is an affiliate link and I will receive a small kickback if you order it. Personally though, I would hang back a minute and let's see where this all ends up. If you found this content useful, please do consider subscribing to the channel and don't forget to hit the little bell as well and you will get updates on any videos I release in the future. If you'd also like to support the channel, please do check out the link to our Discord server as well as our Patreon page and that way you can support the channel on a regular basis too. That's it. Thank you for watching and I will release another video soon.